Feast of Pentecost celebrates a promise realized. And the promise that's realized is the promise that Jesus made before ascending to the Father that he would send the Holy Spirit and that the outpouring of the Holy Spirit would remain constantly present in his church, filling the members of the church with various gifts so that they would be able to continue the work of Jesus and the mission of Jesus, which was to become the mission of the church. When we think about Pentecost, we are acutely aware of the Holy Spirit. But we need to remember that there were many occasions during the lives of the apostles and other disciples when they received the Holy Spirit. It wasn't just at Pentecost. But at Pentecost, they received the fullness of the Holy Spirit. In other words, they received a variety of gifts as the Spirit chose to share those gifts. And those gifts then they were able to use as they became transformed into witnesses of Christ and the Gospel. And those gifts of the Holy Spirit were to be used by them as they moved around preaching the good news, the message that Jesus is the Saviour of the world. In terms of our sacramental experience, the sacrament that corresponds to Pentecost is the sacrament of confirmation. We have learned that when we celebrate the sacrament of confirmation, we are blessed in abundance with the fullness of the Holy Spirit. We receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit and those gifts then enable us to become transformed into the likeness of Jesus and they transform our efforts and our lives as we engage in the mission of the church, which is to spread the good news about Jesus to the ends of the earth. Therefore, we can say that the sacrament of confirmation for us is our personal Pentecost event. In the same way that we can say that the sacrament of baptism is our personal Easter event. And just as Easter and Pentecost are inextricably linked in the Gospels and in the life and ministry of Jesus, so too baptism and confirmation are inextricably linked in our lives. In celebrating the Feast of Pentecost, then, we celebrate the fact that a promise made by Jesus has been realized. We recognize that we receive the outpouring of the Holy Spirit to guide us, to unite us, to give us life, to give us a share in God's many gifts so that we can contribute to the transformation of the world. And we give thanks for that spirit. And we give thanks for all of the opportunities that God gives us through the Holy Spirit who comes down on us in abundance at Pentecost.